Hey everybody, what's going on? Zuri the Illusion Lemur, Dusty Mill here, and we've got some more VGC World to World Showdown. This time around, I made a new team. Someone told me in the comments I should think about bringing like a Water Absorb, Vaporeon, and a Greninja with Surf. So I did just that, and I actually led off with it in the, this is the very first game I ever had with this team. He had the Scolipede, I also threw in a Venusaur, Manetric, Rotom Heat, and Salamance. I actually went for Matt Block because I'm not really... He went for Stone Edge, but I thought Matt Block would have priority, but I guess it didn't. But I think Matt Block is supposed to pretty much block, uh, like, attacking moves. He might be Choice Scarf. I have, I'm not sure. That Salamence... They're not Salamence. That hey, Bama Swine might be Choice Scarf. I have no idea. But I go for Surf. It's, of course, Vaporeon's immune. Does a decent amount of the Scolipede, and then destroys that Mammo Swine. I actually double. I actually went for the uh, Mammo Swine both times because that Scolipede, to be honest, wasn't really that threatening to me. To be perfectly honest, and he actually sends out Dragonite. He's got plus two attack. He's got plus two speed. I've got plus two defense. I predict him to go after my Greninja, so I bring out the Rotom Heat just to take the hit, which that's exactly what he does. And, unfortunately for him, he's going to baton pass, and you might be thinking, why is that unfortunate for him? Wouldn't it be unfortunate for you? Now he's got a plus two speed, plus two attack Gyarados. It would be unfortunate if I didn't have Haze! Oh, look at that. Look at that Vaporeon. Vaporeon with Haze. Oh yeah, I just threw that on there. The reason was because in case I ran into Kangaskhan, which I had three battles with these guys, you're going to see all three, and I didn't run into one Kangaskhan. I was surprised. But I have Haze just in case. I went for Scald on the Dragonite just to break its scale. I didn't know what item it had. He actually went for Dragon Tail, and it works out for me pretty well because I was actually planning on switching my Rotom Heat out into my Vaporeon. Or no, pfft, my into my Venusaur, so he pretty much brought out my Venusaur. And this Venusaur, during the first battle, I actually messed up. I actually go, I go for Sleep Powder on Scolipede, and I switch Rotom Heat out into Vaporeon in case he wanted, like, Waterfall my Rotom Heat, but I think he goes for Extreme Speed or something like that. Oh, no, wait, no, he goes for Dragon Tail on my Venusaur as I Sleep Powder the Scolipede. But the thing that sucks is I don't have a way to actually do too much damage to that, uh, that... Gyarados, I had to think of a name for a second, because I don't have Giga Drain. I, when I was selecting the moves for my Venusaur, I got three of them, and then I Sleep Powder's one, and I accidentally selected Sleep Powder twice and didn't notice until I got into the battle, but I fixed that for the second one. So yeah, so I Thunder Wave the Dragonite. I don't really want to deal with that thing. I just, no, no, I don't, no, 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 don't want to deal with it. And my Vaporeon, of course, just can stalled and kill the Scolipede. And now right here on this turn, I actually went for a... I clicked on Acid Armor, and I sat there and thought about it for a second. I'm like, no, I don't really want my Vaporeon taking unnecessary damage right now. I think I'll just go for, like, Protect or something. As I Thunderbolt the Gyarados, expecting him to go for, like, Waterfall on... Or not Waterfall, I'm uh, go for my Vaporeon. I honestly thought he might... Uh, do something like predict a protect and go for something else. It didn't really work out too well for me right there, but you know, whatever. But as you can see, I went for Acid Armor. I clicked on Acid Armor, thought twice about it, clicked Cancel, and then clicked Detect, but the the Acid Armor already had gone through, I guess. I guess the showdown was being a little laggy or whatever. So I get my Detect now, and I Sleep Powder the Gyarados as he extreme speeds. And as you're going to see, he actually forfeits here. So while we got the second battle here that's about to start up, because he's going to forfeit after I hit him with a Sleep Powder. I want you guys in the comments to let me know if you want... Let, okay, so it's kind of like a two-part thing, I guess. Let me know if you only want Live Showdown, or if you're okay with Not Live Showdown. And if you are alright with the Not Live Showdown, let me know if you want every battle. I'm not every battle. Or if you just want, like, the good ones or something. Like, maybe a... I don't know, maybe a... As long, I think this one's going to be about 13 minutes or so, somewhere around there. Uh, the 13-minute battle, or so the perspectives are swapped here, by the way. And uh, if you want the... If you just want, like, live, or if you're alright with not live, if you want every battle, or just... Not every battle, but mostly the good ones. Because I do plan on playing this when I'm not recording it live, so that's a thing. Just because I'm, if I'm only recording, like, 
one or two videos a day, if that. That's only like six battles at max, and I kind of want to do a little bit more than that. But, 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 when I saw this guy's team, I decided to bring my Mega Manetric instead of the Venusaur, just because Manetric destroys the team. Unfortunately, I don't have Hidden Power Ice on this. I might swatch out, or swatch out, switch out, like, Volt Switch or something for Hidden Power Ice. I'm not quite sure yet. But I saw that it, I thought he might lead with a Bomb Snow Talon Flame, so I brought the Manetric and the Vaporeon. I was gonna leave Vaporeon anyways. And I went for Flamethrower and the Bomb Snow took it out. He actually. I just destroyed that Bomb Snow. I destroyed that Bomb Snow. I destroyed that Bomb Snow! He brought out the T Tar, and I honestly predicted an Earthquake here, because he went for Earthquake the first time, destroyed his own Klefki pretty much. He actually decided to go for Flash Cannon and Crunch. I was like, oh. Alright. And even though I'm just trying to get the burn right now on the T-Tar, even though I know my Vaporeon could probably take it relatively well, I decide I'm going to, because my Salamence is Choice Scarf, I decide I'm going to bring out my Rotom Heat, and I'm just going to go for an Earthquake. It doesn't quite take out the T-Tar, but it does destroy the Clef. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Whenever you get rid of Clef Key, that's a good thing. And he actually went for Crunch on my Vaporeon, which wouldn't have done much anyways. And he brings out Slowbro. I don't want to mess with this thing, and I don't know what it's going to do, so I go for another Earthquake, because I'm locked in. Does yeah, damage to that Slowbro, he pretty much eats it up. I Thunder Wave it, because again, I don't know what it's going to want to do. And he actually goes for Calm Mind. I'm like, oh. 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 Okay. So I decide I'm going to Earthquake once again on the Slowbro, do a decent amount of damage, and I'm actually going to Thunderbolt, which does a lot more than I thought it would. Slowbro is more bulky defensively, and so he actually went for substitute, and it did, it failed. I thought he might want to forfeit here, but he did not. He did not, I give you props, he did not forfeit, he took it till the end, he took it like a champ, and uh, that's actually like, I think that's the first 4-0 I've gotten in VGC, I think. I won it with Salamence, Rotom Heat, Mega Manetric, and the Vaporeon, so not bad, not bad. This team, I honestly just kind of threw it together, but it's working pretty well, surprisingly. I've got another battle here coming up. This is going to be the final one of the video. And again, I want you guys in the comments just to say if you only want the live ones or if you're okay with the not live ones, then if you want every battle or just... Not just the good ones, but you won't get every battle, but you'll get most of them. I just... I, I plan on playing this even when I don't want to record or something. Even if I'm playing another game, I'll just be multitasking or something. Uh, so, here... Here, 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 here. He's got Bisharp, Aerodactyl, Needle Queen, Tyranitar, Salamence, and Mawile. So mind for something like and I noticed my Manetric honestly takes out a good amount of his team. My Manetric can take out the Bisharp. It can probably, if not take out the Mawile, do a good chunk of damage. Can hurt the Salamence relatively well with a neutral Thunderbolt. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of it, but I brought the Manetric, I brought the Rotom Heat, I brought the Vaporeon, and I think I brought the Greninja. And he actually leads with the Bisharp and the Aerodactyl. So, yeah. His team could be an issue for mine, but, you know, it's I'm not really too worried about it. Really, the only thing I'd have to be worried about is that Mawile. Even though Mawile doesn't really hit anything besides a Greninja before the Protein... Uh, boost. Doesn't hit it super effectively unless I just haven't used an attack, but Mega Ball's a freaking monster! So as I said, he leads with the Bisharp and the Aerodactyl. I lead with the Manetric and the Vaporeon. I honestly went for Protect on my Manetric because I didn't know what he wanted to do. And I stalled the Aerodactyl. I don't want to Mega my Manetric because Mega Manetric has Intimidate and if anyone doesn't know, Bisharp's, one of his abilities is Defiant. And that pretty much means that if you lower any of his stats, he's going to... I could haze with my Vaporeon, but I just really didn't want to take the risk. Uh, it boosts his attack plus, like, two. So the Intimidate would pretty much be completely cancelled out, and he'd get a free Swords Dance, pretty much. And I don't want to deal with that! But he went for Tailwind, and I'm absolutely terrified of that. So I brought out my Greninja, and unfortunately he just goes down immediately. And I scald the Aerodactyl, of course, after, I think the first turn I said I scald the Aerodactyl, but I was, I went for Acid Armor. I scald the Aerodactyl, didn't quite take him out, I was so close, but I decided to go for another Protect, because I think he goes for Rock Slide. It actually hits the Vaporeon this time, and I was hoping I didn't get flinched, and I did not get flinched. He went for Assurance, though, on my Manetric. 
He honestly probably should have been going for my Vaporeon. I know Manetric's a pretty big threat, but my Vaporeon can just sit here and just boost up all day. I don't have a way to recover, so because I don't have Wish on this thing, but it's still pretty bulky. I think this is like... I think this Vaporeon might be specially defensive, and uh, the Acid Armor helps it defensively. I'm not sure. But I actually switched out and bring up my Rotom. I was not predicting at all. I was not predicting a Earth Power. I just switched it out to switch it out because I, I'm trying to save my Manetric the best that I can. Scald does not quite take out Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen is more bulky than Nidoking is. But I do get the burn. It's not like it matters at all. It's just residual damage. It, yeah, it doesn't really matter. He got the Assurance on my Rotom Heat, and he actually got a crit. He got the crit! Just did a little over 50%, though, and with my Rotom Heat, I can uh, just eat my Citrus Berry and overheat on the Bisharp. And the Bisharp falls. The Sludge Bomb will not kill. I think this Rotom Heat is... I think Fisher is especially defensive. I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to check. Pretty sure... I don't know if my Vaporeon's defensive or not, I just know that my Rotom Heat is especially defensive. But he actually goes out into Mawile, it's the only one he's got left. And I predict here, honestly, I predict a... I could, uh, I predict a... What is it? Swords Dance, and so I go for Thunder Wave, and that's actually what happens. He went for Sucker Punch, and... Did I say Swords Dance? I might have. I meant Sucker Punch if I did. So I go for Thunder Wave to paralyze this thing. I go for Scald. I know I can't get the burn now, but you know, whatever. It's pretty good damage, and I know he can't one-shot my Vaporeon, especially plus two. And, yeah, so the overheat... I don't. I actually didn't know what he was going to go for this time, but he decided not to go for the, uh, the Sucker Punch, and the overheat takes it out. So, we've actually gotten a, some pretty good battles here with this team. I've had three battles, I've won all three, now that I've said that, I'm probably going to lose the very next one I do, but this team, I just randomly threw it together, I had a comment saying that I should look into uh, Water Absorb, Vaporeon, and Greninja with Surf, and I was kind of debating on Greninja because he's kind of frail, but I was not let's just go with it, and the team's working pretty well, surprisingly. I threw the other four in, but... Yeah, this, uh, this team's working pretty well for me. I guess we'll see how well it does when, like, Omega Ruby and stuff like that comes out when there's Mega Salamance. Oh, that's kind of cool. A lot of fun, let me tell ya! <sighs> things gonna suck so much. But, let me, uh, again, if you don't remember, in the comments, I'm gonna remind you for a third time. If you don't want to be reminded for a third time, that's just too bad. Let me know in the comments, I'm just gonna hurry up and do, like, a speed through of it. If you want only live, if you don't want only live, let me know if you want all the battles of this summer one. Bam! Did it in, like, three seconds. But, we're gonna end this one off here, so... I wanna thank you guys for watching. From... Actually, 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 before we end this one off here, I, uh... I want you guys to let me know in the comments what Pokemon you'd like to see me use. I think I saw someone say to bring Fanpy and Umbreon, and... I don't know how well that's gonna go for me. I... Umbreon can be good, VGC, kind of, like, he, he can pretty much be almost like a Vaporeon for my team, which Vaporeon's good, but I don't know about Little Fanpy, I don't know about the Dragon Slayer, but we'll see, we'll see. But now we're going to end some off here, so, I want to thank you guys for watching, from Zuri the Elysian Lemur, I'm Dustin Mill, bye everybody.